And another hot topic we got is the Kendrick Lamar topic. Now, man, I'm going to keep this episode really Kendrick-centric. So if you guys don't want to talk about Kendrick, bro, just go ahead and exit this video right now. So Kendrick Lamar dropped a quote-unquote diss song that everybody on the internet has been deeming as a diss song. Me, personally, I don't deem this record as a diss song. I don't think this is a diss song at all, man. Um... I don't even know the title of this song to tell y'all the truth, bro. Like, maybe it's Let the Party Die. Like, maybe it's Dear God. We don't know. Do I see Kendrick Lamar leaking this song and putting it um out on streaming platforms? I feel like he don't really need to do that. But we here to get into it, man. So thank y'all once again for tuning in to Rap Goats Podcast. Please smash that subscribe button. Smash a like. It don't even matter if you don't like it. Let's do it, bro. I need some help in the algorithm. All right, so let's just get this right into it, bro. Kendrick Lamar... Dropped some fire out there, bro. I'm sorry. I'm not here to sugarcoat nothing in this episode, bro. Kendrick Lamar dropped something that I felt like we needed inside the culture. Now, a lot of people may not be a fan of this type of music for whatever reason. They feel like, hey, man, this is too conscious. It's too, it goes over their head. Me personally, I clap it up. When I hear people of of hip hop basically try to bring back the essence of hip hop, which is a message. So many, so many people out there are rappers and they're lit and they're famous and they got a name and they got audience. But they really aren't rapping about anything. But Kendrick Lamar is here to let the party die. He said it's time to let the party die. Now, I said something on Twitter that I want to. I want to say that I, you know what I'm saying, I, I want to address it here. If you guys are not following my Twitter, man, make sure you guys follow the Rap Goats Twitter. It is at Rap Goats Podcast at Twitter. All right. So basically, this is what I had to say about it. After me listening to it and everybody saying like, yo, no, this is a Drake diss. I'm like, bro, this ain't no Drake diss. I said to everyone that thinks that Kendrick Lamar's new song is a Drake diss, it's not. This song is about the culture of rap in the streets. The song highlights how this era of the toxic behaviors is coming to an end. Quote, unquote, watch the party die. Bring back substance. That's what I had to say. Now, with that being said, man, um, Kendrick Lamar, is, he, he just like he be on perfect timing for me personally. Like me, me being like a 32 year old man. I think I'm 32. So my birthday coming up, you know, what I'm saying end of September. But me being. 30 something he expresses what i am feeling like i feel like it is time to let the party die because the party has lasted way too long now what is the party you guys might say the party is this everybody out there rapping about the perks everybody's still rapping about drugs everybody's still rapping about sipping lean everybody's still on the whole um I can take your man wave on the whole, like anything that is not uplifting to the black community, anything that's anything that y'all rapping about right right now, that's not going to help us. That's going to set us back. That's going to bring negativity to the black community. That's what Kendrick Lamar is talking about in this song. So if you guys feel offended about anything that is mentioned in this song, then I'm sorry. You are part of the problem. Now, a lot of people saying, yo, no, this song is about Drake. How could he say this? How could he say that? How could he do that? Oh, no, he said no round twos. This song is not about Drake. Are y'all dumb? Stupid? Like, what's going on? Now? This song is not about Drake, bro. If anything, I look at it like this. It's a saying out there that says, hey, man, something like, hey, cut the, cut the head off the stick. Drake is considered to be the snake, right? So if you want to, if you want to deal with a problem, cut the head off. The head is Drake. He cut Drake head off during the beef, and now he's dealing with the the rest of the snake. And the rest of the snake is all you other rappers. All you other rappers, Kendrick is coming for now. He's trying to set the tone for what twenty twenty five is gonna be. And yes. Kendrick Lamar is performing at the Super Bowl. I'm sorry. All this Kendrick hate, y'all need to stop. 
This man ain't doing nothing that's a, a, a detriment to the black community. He's only pointing out all the toxic things that everybody is so infatuated with. Like, when we gonna get to a point where we realize, like, wait, Kendrick actually has a message. Other than this keeping us partying and keeping us turned up and lit and 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 a strive striving for this lifestyle of this great rich of these great riches that we probably will never obtain. Finally, there's a rapper out there that's speaking to the people. And a lot of people can't handle that because you know why? Reality is really, really tough. Nobody wants to face reality. But that's why people like Kendrick Lamar is important. People like Kendrick Lamar is important because he's pointing out the realness of things. While your favorite rapper might just be keeping you doped up, keeping you on that same negative track, keeping you in the streets, keeping you toting the Glock, keeping you scamming your man, keeping you um, getting money from men, keeping you using your body to get what you want. Kendrick is here to kill all of that. 